What's going on everybody? I am going to be sharing with you how to create a simple Valentine's card with things you may already have in your craft room. Let's get into it. The supplies you're going to need to make this is going to be some watercolor paper or a thick, heavy cardstock. You're also going to need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, something that you can shape the heart into. I'm going to be using some Distress Spray Stain, but you can use watercolors or even some acrylic paint if that's what you have. This color combination is one from my brand new Distress Color Combos for 2024. It's absolutely free. I will leave a link down below so that you can grab it for yourself. You're also going to need some water. I'm going to be using this distress sprayer and a paintbrush. All right, the first thing you're going to do is make your heart. So what I like to do is just kind of start bending it sort of in the center. I like my heart to be a little more wonky. It gives the card a little more handmade feel and that's what we're going for. Uh, handmade is not perfect. So we're just going to continue to kind of work this a little bit. And then as soon as we get our shape, I like to press it and squish it in the center. If I can get back on frame here, sorry about that. All right, and then you can kind of see the shape come to life. You can play with it a little bit. And then what I like to do is take it and then make that point for our heart, the bottom point. And then there we go, just like that. And the good thing about this is if you saturate one side, you can either use the other side or eventually just keep cutting it down and then you can use it over and over again. I'm going to grab a piece of my watercolor cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit of this tattered rose onto my glass mat. And then I'm going to take my paper towel roll and saturate it in that color. And again, you can do this with watercolors or acrylic paint, uh, whatever you have in your stash. And I'm going to stamp it down and then I'm going to hold it there just for a second so that it kind of seeps into the paper. All right, I need to get a little better shape on here. There we go. And we'll do one there. And and one more down at the bottom. Now the idea is just to get the general shape and then we're going to go in and watercolor uh, the hearts. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of that tattered rose onto my glass mat. And then I'm going to start going into the heart here. And I have some water off to the side, like down a little bit, so that I can blend this out. Now I am not a watercolorist, so uh, don't come at me if I am doing this wrong. It's just for fun. Pick up some of that water and then kind of blend that out a little bit. And we are going to be adding a darker color, so don't stress about if it's perfect or not. All right, and a little tip is to have maybe a baby wipe so that you can pick up some of that color and so you could kind of blend that out a little bit more. Our hearts should be saturated and I'm going to add a little bit of the picked raspberry onto my glass mat there. And I don't mind the splatters. I should have moved it a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I'm just going to touch right there and touch the edges or the one side of the heart. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe off my tape brush, grab some more water, and then start blending this out. you so that I'm kind of tapping onto my baby wipe and into that water that's on my glass mat so I can blend this out 
add a little bit more water. I want to take just a second to say that if you are finding value in this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you're notified anytime that I upload a video. And don't forget to hit that like button. And just touch up that edge there. I'm going to go back in and blend this out a little bit more. And again, do not worry if it is perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and pick up some of that. There we go. So I'm going to add some sealess preserves onto my glass mat. That way I can grab some and then make the darker outline for my hearts. All right, and I'm just going to kind of hover over the opening of the heart. Hopefully you can't see my head in here. And then just kind of place it down. Again, it is not, it does not have to be perfect. We're just getting that outline on there. All right, some more water. And then we're going to blend this out a little bit. Mainly in the area that has that dark pink. And then I'm going to kind of pounce my paintbrush onto the other areas just to kind of let it blend up just a tad bit more. But we can go back in and make a harsher line if we want to. All right, now I'm going to heat set this. All right, so the paper towel roll is a little saturated um, for what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna cut that off and then kind of reshape it a little bit and then go back in into the seedless preserves. And then that way we can get a harsher outline onto our hearts. We're just building layers here. Again, it does not have to be perfect. I need a little bit more here. I'm going to saturate the toilet paper roll a little bit more so that I get a harsher line around my hearts. I want a really defined line around it. I am going to be adding a little bit of water to kind of help spread it out and give it a more mixed media feel, but it'll all make sense in the end. I definitely want the heart to be a little bit more defined, so that's why I, I sprayed a little bit more Distress Spray and that Seedless Preserves onto my glass mat. Okay, now we are going to dry this in place again. Okay, I'm just going to drop a little bit of black soot for the string. I'm going to lightly do this first so that I can kind of get an idea. I watered down the black soot distress spray stain so that I can make an outline. I want these to look like balloons, so I'm painting a little triangle shape at the bottom of the heart to mimic where the balloon would be tied. And then I'm going to try to paint on some string like it's going down the card panel. Again, it's not perfect and I keep saying this and I'll say it over and over again, handmade does not have to be perfect. The little imperfections on a handmade card I think just add to the end result and I think it just makes it really special. All right, now that I have an outline, I'm going to take the Black Soot Distress Spray Stain and go over my outline. The spray stain is not watered down this time, and I'm not doing this perfectly. I'm kind of doing it a little bit wonky on purpose. That's going to give a little bit of a shadow effect. And again, this does not have to be perfect as you can see. I do not really know what I'm doing, but I love the look of this. All right, so I'm going to dry this in place again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to spritz some parts of it with a little bit of water to see if I can get some movement going on. And then just like that. And then I'm going to dry this in place. Now I'm going to take some water and spritz it onto the color that's already on my glass mat here. And then this is where I'm going to start splattering some of that color down onto the card. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to do some dark and then I'm going to go in with some of this lighter color. And I like to move my paper around, that way I get the splatters in every angle, like every which way. And I'm tapping my brush, I'm flicking my brush, I'm tapping it like this. Um, every different way that you 
kind of add your splatters, it's going to give a different look. And then if I'm brave, I think I want to do a few little black splatters. If you love splatters as much as I do, be sure to comment hashtag splatter squad down below. There we go. All right, we're going to dry this in place. All right, so I love adding white splatters to my projects. Maybe if I can get this open. There we go. So I'm going to be using some Dina Wakely gloss spray. Uh, this is a glossy acrylic spray and this is going to be white. And what I do is I just take the nozzle out and then I just kind of splatter it on that way. I feel this just kind of brings everything together. If splatters are not your thing, you can, you don't have to do them. As you can see, I love them. All right, now we're going to dry this in place. So for my sentiments, I like to keep it simple. So I'm taking the Tim Holtz Ideology Small Talk and this is the Occasions collection. And I'm just going to pick this one that says Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to take my fingernail and kind of rough up the edges because I am going to be roughing up the edges of the card panel uh, before I put it on the card base. So I wanna make sure that everything kind of goes together it flows nicely. Like that. And we'll probably put it probably here. So I cut my card panel down to four by five and a quarter. That way when I put it on my card base, I have a nice border around the card panel. All right, so now we're going to take some scissors and I'm going to rough up the edges. This is really simple to do. You're just going to go back and forth with your scissors. Um, and depending on the thickness of your paper, you really need to be careful because you could slice all the way through and you know, I don't want you slicing your fingers. So I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive to my card panel. You can use liquid glue if that's what you have on hand. And this is just some cheap cardstock, as you can see, it's pretty flimsy, but that's okay because the weight of the, the front card panel is going to make this a little more sturdy. And then I will add another card panel inside of my card base, and then that will help it be a little more sturdy as well. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to curl up the edges a little bit. This gives the card a little more dimension. So even though this is a sticker sentiment, I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of this to make sure that it stays nicely on top of my card panel here. And hmm, I think I kind of like it there. And there you have it, a super simple Valentine's Day card. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's Day card. If you create something inspired by this card or any other of my projects, be sure to tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Here are a couple more videos you might enjoy using some household products in my mixed media projects. I hope to see you there.